So in a way, 2016 YouTube is back. It's kind of crazy to say that. Not something that I ever expected to come on here and say again. But uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of back to square one in a lot of ways, it seems like. For those of you who, I don't know, don't use the app enough or use the website enough, there's been a lot of drama that's unfolded over the last week or so here on YouTube that honestly just gives a lot of 2016 vibes and in reality shows a lot of different points on a lot of different shit. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and break down everything that's been going on because, well, there's a lot of it to cover. Now, the big one that you guys probably already know about is H3H3 versus Keemstar. This literally comes directly out of a, like a 2016 video series, it seems like. I mean, I can't think of two people that are more 2016 to be arguing right now. Obviously, H3H3 started it all kind of when he dropped the content nuke on Keemstar, then Keemstar responded with his video, and then now, well, H3H3 dropped another video on him, and, well, Keemstar apparently has at least one more in the chamber. God only knows how long this is really going to get dragged out for, how many videos are going to be made on this whole subject between the two of them, or if anyone else is going to jump into the midst between all of it. The only other person so far that's really jumped into the direct mix of it in some way is Leafy which is about as 2016 as it can get. He's been back making videos. He didn't really make an actual serious video about the whole subject, but he kind of made fun of it and laughed a little bit. It was pretty funny to watch, honestly. I've actually been enjoying a lot of Leafy's recent videos, even though they're not necessarily what he was making back in the day and they're not, you know, very long or anything. They, they've been enjoyable to watch. So that whole thing's been boiling, and a lot of different stuff has come from that. Number one, it's been kind of popularized uh, to sponsor shame in a way now. Everyone kind of thought H3H3 started the whole sponsorship war thing, but it turns out that there's actually video of Keemstar doing this years ago. So while it didn't really lead to this direct thing back in the day when Keemstar did it, now that these two have gotten into this really big public feud, there's been a lot of sponsorships getting attacked between the two, and people are afraid... And I think rightfully so that sponsors are pretty much at risk for the entire platform. Now, the first one to really go was G Fuel and Keemstar. They severed ties after H3H3 poked fun at them for a little bit in his video and then asked the question, why are they even still sponsoring this guy? Keemstar claims that he cut ties with G Fuel himself because they didn't deserve the hate. But apparently it was pretty inevitable that they were going to end up having to terminate the friendship, partnership, contract, whatever the hell you want to call it anyway, because apparently G Fuel had came to Keemstar and told him that they were going to suspend his sponsorship deal due to all the flack that they were getting. Now H3H3 hasn't been safe from this entire thing either. It isn't like he, you know, made this whole big thing and, you know, G Fuel kind of was a target in this whole thing. H3H3 actually denounced going after people's sponsors, which I thought was a pretty good move from him, but at the same time, he actually ended up losing a sponsorship deal on the H3 podcast. Now, Old Spice was apparently sponsoring his show, and after everyone basically retaliated in favor of Keemstar against Old Spice, they've now dropped him. I've seen on the rumor mill a little bit that H3H3 might have lost up to three sponsors, however I haven't seen anything that really confirms it yet, H3H3 hasn't said anything about it and there's no actual evidence of it happening. But we, we do know for a fact now that Old Spice has dropped H3H3 as a sponsor, so both of them have ended up basically losing money from this whole thing. I mean, we're talking about pretty high caliber YouTubers, millions of subscribers, their sponsorships are worth a shit ton of money, honestly, they, we're talking about tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in future revenue gone from both of them, simply based on their partnerships terminating, and that's not to say that they can't get it back in the future and that, you know, they may never have another sponsor or whatever, but from this entire thing, there's been a lot of community fear from, I guess, the radiation or the fallout of the content nuke is that People are going to start going after everyone's sponsors and that small creators are going to get fucked too because, you know, they make a video, somebody doesn't like what they say, they organize a bunch of people to spam their sponsor, and they ended up getting dropped. I think Moist Critical, aka Penguin Zero, is actually making a great point about this. I agree with him entirely on this one. I think that this is setting a dangerous precedent for sponsors on YouTube, and once again, sponsors do not watch drama videos on YouTube. You and I, you know, we might watch the content nuke, we might watch Keemstar respond, and the shit show that is both of these guys throwing their basic turds at one another over a Twitter argument that they had. But at the end of the day, when people see that this is effective and they see that this works, it's going to end up possibly hurting everybody, and you're going to see sponsorships disappearing from other people too, simply because people don't like what they said. I mean, while hypothetical, it is entirely possible that in three months, let's say somebody doesn't like what I have to say, and I have a sponsor that month. Let's say I get sponsored by Fruit Gushers. I actually want that sponsorship. I love Fruit Gushers. However, they just spam Gushers and say, fucking drop this guy, we don't like what he has to say, and they say a bunch of random things. 
Gushers is not going to go to my channel and see what's going on. They're going to see that there's 4,000 emails in their inbox talking about, oh, well, he's a bad guy, you should drop him. And they're going to say, oh shit, that's affecting our brand. And they're going to drop him. Now at first, I didn't think this was going to happen, right? I didn't think that the sponsor thing was going to actually end up being a big deal because most of the time, especially with like YouTube ads, a lot of companies just simply don't give a fuck, right? They, they'll just, they want to advertise. They want to get their product in front of people, but... Me not thinking that it was completely reasonable that they would just drop people based on the fact that they were getting a buttload of emails. That is totally a possibility, and it's something that we have to worry about. And it might even get to this point that sponsors stop. You know, they just don't want to sponsor direct YouTube videos. They don't want to come to Optimus and say, hey, we'll pay you $4 to put your ad on this on this video. It's totally possible. Who knows? That is one of the big dramas going on right now, but it's kind of expanded into this ever-growing thing, and it's been pretty weird to see because one of the people involved now has become Yo Mama, which is a channel that for a long time, obviously, I, I don't I don't have to explain what they do, but they dropped a video on Keemstar uh, claiming a bunch of ties to the alt-right and things like that, and basically trying to expose Keemstar for his affiliation with people that are alt-right and whatnot, and... Honestly, this was probably the weirdest twist in it all. I feel like 2020 has become like this fucking pocket dimension that doesn't even make sense anymore. I mean, we're talking about drama that happened in 2016, or honestly, it looks like it should have happened in 2016, is coming back around. Nobody can leave their house right now. We all have to wear masks out in public. We're playing Call of Duty zombies every time we step out of the house. It's almost like a pocket dimension, but yes, Yo Mama did make a video basically bashing Keemstar and adding fuel to the fire, and it seems like a lot of YouTubers have come out against Keemstar recently because of all the shit that he's done in the past and the ways that he's wronged everybody. I mean, it's been insane to see the reaction. I mean, honestly, it, it kind of reminds me of when everyone kind of dogpiled on Keemstar at one point back in the day. I mean, basically everybody made a video on Keemstar at that point. With it. There was like a two or three month stretch where Keemstar was basically like the punching bag of YouTube and everybody was basically dropping a content nuke on Keemstar every single day. Everyone was shitting on one another back in then, and it was nuts to watch, but it's kind of come back around, and now that you know, yo, yo mama's actually involved, which is just fucking psychotic, but that isn't even the only thing that's happened, actually. Leafy, once again, he's returned, he's making videos. Like I said, I'm actually enjoying his uploads a lot more now. I think that they're a lot funnier than they used to be, in my opinion. He's just kind of making whatever he wants to make, just kind of bullshitting in a little, a little bit of a way there. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Because everybody was kind of worried about the fact that he could never come back to YouTube, right? That he would just be kind of struck down by YouTube immediately the moment that he came back. And he's he's stuck with it so far. And he, he's done things that in a lot of ways YouTube just can't directly come out and target. So he's still around. He's still making videos. And obviously people wanted him back because he's getting millions upon millions of views every time that he uploads, basically. Or getting hundreds of thousands, depending on the video and how long it's been out. So obviously people wanted him back. And he's back to uploading and bullshitting. And he made a video on I'm Alex, which is another commentator here in the community. And uh, that video ended up, did, it did get taken down. Now, I think that's the first video Leafy has had taken down since he came back. But basically, I'm Alex made a shit ton of videos on him back in the day, clowning him, making fun of him, saying, you know, basically, he didn't like his videos and whatnot. And then he basically was cutting to a bunch of clips of I'm Alex crying and being upset about something and was saying he enjoyed it. He liked watching him, you know, suffer and that he genuinely didn't like I'm Alex as a person, basically shitting all over him. I'm Alex, from what I know, uh, was supposed to respond to the video. I'm not necessarily sure if that's the truth. Take that with a pinch of salt, but that was going to be kind of like a little uh, side quest for YouTube 2016 here. Leafy getting into a fucking drama for the first time in like nine years, you know? But unfortunately, yes, Leafy's video was taken down, so apparently that's not going to happen, and there's, I, I would say, no real chance of I'm Alex being able to respond and that's what kind of sucks, because with all this stuff kind of leading back to 2016 YouTube, it feels like we're living vicariously through Summer 16, which was one of the best summers of my life, might I add. You know, it's just a shame to see that YouTube has changed to the point where we can't even fucking fully have that back. Leafy makes a video and it's taken down for harassment and bullying, because this website is just, it's got a big old fat dangling pussy on it. You're not allowed to say or do anything that's controversial anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. It's sad that YouTube has done what they've done to make it to where you can't fucking do anything on the website anymore. As everything was kind of heating up, it looks like everything is either still at a boiling point depending on what's going on or it's kind of, I guess, shitting itself. Because, well, you can't really respond to a video that's been taken down for harassment and bullying and, well, with everything going on, it's just kind of different, you know, just kind of weird to watch, but... With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below for the freshest officialist Optimus merch around. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. 
in 2016 and signing out.